there are six foods you should avoid like the plague. That's according to Bill Marler, an attorney that spent two decades working on food poisoning lawsuits. He revealed the items in an article for the Food Poison Journal. Marler is also part of the lawsuit against Chipotle. Dr. Rashini Raj is here to tell us whether we too should consider avoiding Marler's list of foods. Dr. Raj, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I think this is really interesting. So six foods, did any of the foods on this list surprise you? Well, you know, it's interesting. I usually don't go to a lawyer for medical mm -hmm. advice, right. but actually in this case, I think he had some good ideas here. Yeah, a lot of these foods are the common culprits for food poisoning outbreaks in this country and uh, things that we should not necessarily avoid altogether, but be careful when we are eating them. We're looking at the list right here. We've yeah. got uh, raw um, unpasteurized milk and juices, raw sprouts, yes. meat uh, that is not well done. He says he wouldn't take anything less than medium well. Right. Uh, Pre-washed and pre-cut fruits and vegetables, which are really we convenient. We see that a lot yeah. in the bags. Yeah, yeah, so these are one of those things where I wouldn't avoid it altogether, but I would agree with him that you need to wash it yourself. Yeah. Don't necessarily trust the manufacturers that all the bacteria or viruses have been removed. Even if it says pre-washed, go ahead and give it another wash. Raw meat, again, uh, the undercooked meat. I agree. There's some people I go out to dinner with them, they say, I still want it to be bleeding practically. Yes. Not it's a good idea. Moving. Exactly. There's <laughs> right. a really, you know, there is a risk of E. coli there on the yeah. bacteria. I would always get it medium well to well done. Unpasteurized juices and milk, that's totally, really popular. It's now. a trend yeah. right now, but yeah. I, I agree with him on this one. You know, yeah. there's no danger to pasteurization. It, it's still very nutritious, and it really is a good thing to pasteurize. That's what's getting rid of the bacteria that you do not want in the milk or the juices. What about about raw undercooked eggs uh, yeah. in this country North America I mean we pasteurize the eggs they, yes. sh they should be pretty clean right so the eggs you don't want them raw because there is still a risk of salmonella mm -hmm. um, and that can be in things like cookie dough for example mm -hmm. you know things that you might not really think about you do want to avoid the raw eggs for sure always cook your eggs so, Doctor, are, are some people more at right. risk for getting a foodborne illness than others? Yes, it's a great question because no one likes to get food poisoning. You're miserable for a few days, but usually you get better. But for certain people, it can become very serious, even life-threatening. So if you're immunocompromised, meaning your immune system is not as strong as it should be because of cancer, HIV, if you're on certain medications, diabetes, liver disease, stomach disorders, any of these conditions put you at greater risk, the elderly even, because they're not as immunocompetent. So you need to be even more careful about these foods. Roy oysters was another thing on the list, mm -hmm. which again does carry quite a significant risk of bacterial infection or even the norovirus. So you want to be very careful. Okay, so you're at home, you're preparing your food. Yes. What do you do to reduce or completely eliminate the chances of getting food poisoning? Right, so I don't think you can ever completely eliminate it, unfortunately, but to reduce the chances, again, you want to wash your produce especially. You want to use different utensils or different cooking boards for the produce as opposed to the meat, as opposed to the other things in your in your kitchen. You want to clean your, your sponges and, and really do that almost every day. You can zap it in the microwave for a few seconds, get rid of the germs there. Make sure that you're very careful about disinfecting the kitchen countertops after you're preparing food and of course washing your hands very carefully before and after preparing food. When you say wash your food, should you use soap or is it enough to, to sort of rinse it with water? It's usually enough to rinse it with water, okay. but a good rinse. And there's certain foods, strawberries for example, they're harder to kind of clean and you really need to get in there and do it properly. If they have pores and other things, it's a little bit harder. Sprouts, that's one of the reasons they're hard. They have more food poisoning episodes because they're so little, hard to get all the nooks and crannies out of there, but you need to take your time and do it well. What about going out to eat? Are there any precautions people can take when they go out to a restaurant? Say? Well, again, washing hands before and after is important. Um, certainly if something smells off or looks off, you stay away from it. And then the foods on, on the list, you know, you don't want the raw meats or the undercooked meats. Stay away from the raw oysters, particularly if you have some of those medical conditions that we talked about. Okay, Dr. Rashini Raj, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you.